Advancements in technology as well as the usage of it have skyrocketed over the past few years significantly. Technology is growing rapidly and has created dramatic changes in all areas of human communication. People are beginning to become absorbed by the many positive and negative effects that come along with it. Today, I would like to inform and share with you that technology can be seen as the primary communication method. Excessive use of technology can lead to a state of social isolation and the younger generation is being affected the most. Let's start by looking at how technology is the primary communication method. This way of communication can connect you with people from across the world in a different country, state, city, or simply next door. Um, imagine students who go to college far away from home. They go from seeing their families every day to a whole new environment. Luckily with technology, you can talk to any family member, any friend, anyone anywhere. Um, you can easily send a text, you can call them on the phone, or you could FaceTime or Skype. Technology allows communication for not only people, but businesses. A corporate business must be able to communicate globally and nationally. This ensures business operations stay on track, people know it's supposed to be done, and bosses and other people with authority can give commands without being physically in person. Besides technology being used to communicate, people are also becoming demanded dependent on it for its many other resources. Um, this is where it leads to a state of social isolation from excessive use. This is characterized by a lack of contact with other people in day-to-day -day living. People isolate themselves by walking around in their own little bubble. They listen to their iPods, they block out the world, they constantly refresh social media pages to see the latest updates on things that do not matter. Texting, a way to avoid face-to-face -face contact, um, it's just not right. An article in the Wall Street Journal by Dr. Rosen, who is a professor of psychology at California State University, states that the time and effort we put into our virtual worlds limit the time and ability to connect, especially to communicate on a deeper level in our real world. With smartphone in hand, we constantly face a barrage of alerts, notifications, vibrations, and beeps that warn us that something seemingly important has happened and we must pay attention. From cell phones to iPads, iPods, laptops, and many other on-the-go devices, people are constantly engaged. Dinner time used to be about coming together and talking about how everybody's day went. Now, it's at the point where family dinners consist of everyone on their phone being concerned with what's happening as they're scrolling. Um, people are less concerned about each other and what's what's going on around them. Picture yourself sitting at the dinner table, everyone's head down, not speaking to each other because they're looking at their phones. That's not the right way to have a family dinner. Grandparents and older relatives would tell you to put your phone away right now, but this this generation, where's the common courtesy and respect? Technology proves to lead you to a state of social isolation if it's used too much. This is terrifying to think what will happen to the younger generation. At a young age, instead of playing outside, reading a book, building forts, children are hooked and introduced to technology. Children are mesmerized by a screen of entertainment. It could be one of many things such as social media, video games, texting, television, any other form of technology. Although it seems to be all fun and games, this mesmerization is leading to a lack of child development and skills. Author Rowan, a pediatric occupational therapist, biologist, and speaker, is the author from uh, the Huntington Post. She writes, diagnosis of ADHD, autism, coordination disorder, developmental delays, unintelligible speech, learning difficulties, anxiety, depression, and sleep disorders are associated with technology overuse. That is crazy. Um, at an increasing and alarming rate. Limitations should be put in place for children when it comes to the use of technology. This is crucial for learning and development in life to be to refrain from technology. Um, they need to develop and and the people without being overtaken without being taken over by technology. They should be creating friendships face to face with kids their own age. Author Kraut states that the importance of interacting with others to gain social competence concerns have been raised that children who from electronic relationships with computers instead of friendships with their peers might be hindered in developing 
their interpersonal skills. These types of skills cannot include, could not be lost, uh, which include verbal communication, listening skills, problem solving, decision making, and more. With the younger generation having so much access to technology and lacking important interaction skills, we wonder how this will affect them and their future. By now, you understand the power of technology. It can be seen as the primary communication method because it makes communication easy and fast. An excessive use of this technology can lead to a state of social isolation, which makes a person focus on their technology rather than the people around them. And the younger generation is being affected the most because they're growing up with all these electronics around them, taking away from the time they should be spending outside. It's clear that technology is no doubtingly growing, uh, growing viciously each day. A brand new device will come out, a new update, a new game, and everyone will want it. I cannot stress it enough the importance of being mindful of how the future can be affected if the time spent on technology continues to rise. Try to refrain from your devices. Focus and be appreciative of the people around you. Thank you.